Well, we are off to a very interesting morning already, you guys. I look like crap. I should get myself ready a little bit more. But, you have school today? Yeah. But your sisters told you you didn't have school today. So, we are all asleep. Right? They also told Chelsea she didn't have school today. So she went back to bed. And you and me And only had 10 time. minutes to get ready this morning. <laughs> So we're having like, what are they calling it? A cyclone bomb hitting the western shores of Washington. It's like to convergence from like Southeast Asia and Alaska. And they're hitting at the same time and there's wind swells and I don't even know, I don't fully understand. But it sent wind inshore um, today and has knocked power out of about half of our district. And so, Kaylee and Abby's school at the high school, they're canceled for school. They don't have to go. You need to hurry and get yourself some breakfast. Yes? Yes, I need to. I will do that after you get breakfast, or after I put this camera down. Um, so they're not going to school, but then Chelsea's school is on the other side of, it's in a completely different city. It didn't lose power. And Ashley's school it's is- close to Kaylee. Is closer to Kaylee and Abby's, but they're not out of power. So I found out at six o'clock this morning that everything was starting to get canceled, and so I've never gotten back to sleep. But I think I didn't fall asleep until two in the morning, I think. I don't even remember. I took melatonin at midnight because I was like, I'm going to sleep tonight. And I don't think I fell asleep until two. I don't know why the melatonin didn't fully work, but. Jason and I have a busy day today. He's home. Luckily, he's their store is already closed today anyway, and so he didn't have to stress about whether the computers will have power or all that kind of stuff. So he's sleeping in. I'm so nice to let him sleep in. <laughs> and we're going to get these guys ready for school. This one. But we also have an unknown update on the hand. I'll talk about that later. Let's get her ready for school. All right. I got ready, took Ashley to the bus stop. Actually, this is as ready as I'm gonna get today. Uh, took her to the bus stop. Jason woke up. And I, I talked about how you were still in bed. I know, I already filmed today. But he has a conference call in two and a half hours. So we're gonna hurry and start running a lot of our errands this morning and pray that the kids actually stay in school. <laughs> There's still a good chance. Jason said, you said something that like, this isn't even the worst of the storm. Yeah, from what I've seen, it's supposed to go and then Thursday is when it hits. But I mean, things come and go, but yeah, it's supposed to, it's a river. It's yeah. constant blasting, so it's not over yet. Yeah, I couldn't remember what that was, like what it was. It was an atmospheric river. And it's just sucking in all this air and wind and rain and anyway. I still have teenagers asleep in bed because they woke up at six o'clock to see their alarms or their text messages from the school that we do not have school. Okay, anyway, I have costume to make. I have errands to run with him. I have a video to edit finally. Oh, paycheck, bank, call for, oh. So let me update you really quick on Ashley. As soon as her cast came off and we waited a couple days you know, for the stiffness to wear off and be able to kind of move things around. That upper part of her arm, right above her wrist, where she hurt it the second time with the cast on has been killing her. She complains about it when she's home. She complains about it about 20 times a day. And so it was a very long weekend. I called last week to see if I could come in before our follow-up appointment to the doctor's office and they're completely solid booked until her actual follow-up appointment. And so I I can't get her in until Friday. It's Monday. And it's been hurting her for like a solid week and a half, two weeks almost. And I, I feel so bad, so she wraps it and takes ibuprofen every day. And I'm gonna call again this morning and see if they have any openings. That's what they told me to do, is just keep calling and see if there's openings, because it needs to get re-x-rayed. And okay, let's see what they say. Yeah, she's been in pain since she got her cast off. 
and we haven't been able to get an appointment sooner than that follow-up appointment. Okay, so let me go to the 29th and see what I can do. All right, they can get her in tomorrow afternoon. I'm just going through my Costco magazine while I sat here. She can get in tomorrow afternoon in a different city. <laughs> It's about 20 minutes away, it's not that big a deal. It was either that or they did have an appointment here Wednesday morning, but we had a snafu getting Kaylee's driver's license last week. She was six days before her permit expired. You ever been through this process during COVID? Yep, or any time, I guess. We were six days off from when she got her permit, so she couldn't actually get the driver's license at the office. So we have to attempt to do that again this Wednesday. Oops, one of the boys left their jacket here from the dance. Need to take that over to them. Anyway, so I couldn't take that Wednesday appointment. It was easier because it's here in town. But tomorrow is better because it's sooner. I just have to, we have a trunk or treat tomorrow at the school. So I'm going to have to like really hustle tomorrow, which means I need to hustle today to make sure all the costumes are fully ready to go in time. Are we worrying about dishes, Jace, or are we just going to go? Should we, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Because we've got two hours before you've got to get back, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's head out and run errands. we got the paycheck. So Jason just found out where the Halloween candy is stashed. <laughs> I am not going to eat any of it. Who wants to take bets that he'll open it? Just because it gets opened and eaten doesn't mean it's me. <laughs> okay, but that's not what I'm saying. Who wants to take bets that he actually does open it or and or eat it? I'll take that bet. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. You will not will open not it. I will not touch it. I will not anything. Open it, eat it, nothing. 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 Pinky promise. 50 bucks. I'm that, holding them to it. I'm not sure what I'll do with the $50. Oh, you're... <laughs> I'm going to win. I know, because he has to pay himself $50. And <laughs> it's his money. <laughs> it's our money. Our money, anyway. Uh, we'll take it out of your Hawaii budget. No. That's my money I earned. Oh, that's your money. <laughs> Except for the money that I earned to put into it too. So I have a funny story to tell you guys. I wanted to do an update video, but I wanted to have my hair done and be all cute. And my curly hair from church yesterday was a complete fail. I actually wore a ponytail to church because it was like absolutely I could not wear it. So anyway, I don't think I'll do an update video, but I'll just give you a really quick synopsis of what we've been doing since we've been home from Maui. Yeah, that's it. Like that, we, nothing. What? <laughs> we haven't been doing anything. We've been doing our regular life. You've been life. working. You've been I've working. I've been working. Yeah. So, right after we got back from our trip. <laughs> Look at these guys kick it all into a pile. <laughs> I know. It's all good. Um, the other employee that we had hired right before we left, she quit. So now he is working every day of the week. So, except for obviously Mondays when we're closed. So, He's been working a ton, which means we don't have fun afternoons like this to go run our errands together. And then I don't have anything to do. I don't have videos to edit. I don't have, I've, I've gone to Costco three times in one day because. Because oh, you're living the life. Living the life and why not, you know? So I've done nothing and I. You're like my dad. Oh, do not even compare, <laughs> compare me to a 72 soon year old be, man. Soon you'll be driving up to the store just, just to, to like give you company give me an envelope or something i know that's what his dad does no what, where was i going with this <laughs> i don't even remember all right so i don't remember the gist is i haven't done much and there haven't been too many opportunities to film obviously we filmed ashley getting her cast off and kaylee going to homecoming i didn't really yeah. end that video kaylee and abby yes going to homecoming and they had a great time and it's actually great that they don't have school today because they were so tired yesterday i think they stayed in bed all day so it's just kind of a, another good day to just recoup but other than that like there hasn't been a reason to like pull the camera out that's because nothing is as exciting as paragliding or going to a I volcano know, i know a beach so and that's the thing is that like and the things that we ha we've had a fun time like we have done stuff, me and Jason have done stuff with friends. We've had game night, we've had, um, I've gone out with a girlfriend for lunch and I've gone out to, with a bunch of girlfriends for dinner, but I don't bring the camera for that. Um, and so it's not like we can bring you along for that part of our days. And so I just talk, you know, tended to not update and pull the camera out. But anyway, I did want to talk about 
um, our friendships that we have gained from this channel and just to let you guys know I mean maybe Lydia and Nick you guys can put a comment down below because for the first time we've met a few people one in Hawaii and others just through local people or whatever that have watched our channel but it's no longer like this I guess the only analogy I have is like a 2D relationship. Like, if there's a screen between us and it's just like words typed out where we have conversations or interactions with you guys. Oh, there's the gas can in the back of the car. But meeting Lydia and Nick in Hawaii and then becoming friends with them and now we text them, you know, and have conversations with them. Don't you enjoy like... Oh yeah, I know, super cool. I just, I wish we like lived closer, closer yeah. <laughs> then we could have like couples night or something but I just want like others that. to understand that like and there's also people yes. that have what? donated and yeah and people okay. who have donated to help support the channel like that's real it's not like like that's tangible and that means a lot to us it, totally. it turns this channel into something that's like not just behind a screen I guess is what I'm saying and I know it's not possible for all of us to meet all of you and especially like in Hawaii <laughs> but you know I just want you guys to understand that like you guys are real to us too like your comments are real to us and they mean something to us I love reading the comments of, and I also and you can I'm, tell him to spell I don't check himself expose... <laughs> <laughs> you guys I, uh, sometimes things come out and it's funny what they say but I also don't want to call people out that like I don't want Everyone has their privacy, so I don't want to accidentally say, hey, so-and-so did us this, this, or yeah. so-and-so that, because I'm like, they still need their privacy, so I guess I need to know whether I can give shout-out to certain people or not. Yeah. I just don't want to expose your privacy. I'm super grateful. I try to leave comments, but yeah, yeah should we tell them the funny thing I almost said? That who said? I almost said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, somebody left a comment, and I was like, I, I typed in a shut the front door but it auto corrects sometimes yeah to your language of well and it was also sloppy cakes i think it's it it didn't it. auto correct it, it. Auto it's a sloppy because <laughs> sloppy is not really a word is it anyways yeah. uh it was shut the front door but luckily it put an eye I usually don't it put read. an eye it put an eye which i think is hilarious and it ing not shutting the front door up. <laughs> Ing the front door. Hey. And he was like, that kind of fits. It works for kind of a different thing. I mean, <laughs> that, what's different. going on? Oh, I'm... Shut, yeah, front whatever. <laughs> so just know that it absolutely irks me that he doesn't spell check and grammar check his comments. I'm helping you monitor. Stay, no, stay I am not your... your he, I am not your mom. Stay alert on your channel, hun. Okay. We're going to the bank. I hope he remembers there's a gas can he needs to fill up. Just in case we lose power, I need our generator to be gassed up. Let's see if he goes to back to the trunk. Remember you need the gas can out of the back. Yeah, I will. Okay. We were worried with our last power outage that that generator was going to run out of gas. I fill it up and uh, we'll treat it. I can't remember what you put in it. You treat it so that the gas won't go bad throughout the year so you don't have to worry about like constantly replacing it but I just we we're kind of in a weird little bubble that does have power and almost everything around us doesn't also tree or two trees fell on the highway right by us and killed two people in their car it's so sad I think that happened yesterday while we were at church or right before we were at church um, anyway the kids found out about that this morning and that was kind of hard to hear but so I'm gonna maybe keep the kids, if the wind picks back up today, I might actually keep the kids inside instead of playing at the park because the trees here are so big and the branches are so big. I mean, the branches are the size of some trees and so they can get weak in storms like this and just fall and it could crush a kid. So we have to just kind of be careful with these first few storms. 
the wind hasn't really hit the trees yet for the season. Right, next up, I ironed the top half of this shirt. Got this at the Goodwill for $1.99. Looks like I ironed the tag <laughs> accidentally. But I only need the top half of this shirt. I just need the collar part of it. So I'm going to take it in my other room and I'm going to cut it. This doesn't actually fit Ashley, but it's the only white collared shirt we could find for her costume. And I just, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off because she won't be able to get the arms on. So I just need to kind of cut from like the shoulder up to the shoulder so that she can just lay it over the top of her shoulders. All right, there is her little dickie. <laughs> and then she's gonna wear this underneath the other part of her costume. We've been collecting the costume parts down here and here and here. <laughs> Let me show you what Ashley's costume is. All right, I gotta get it put together real quick. All right, obviously this isn't put together like <laughs> it would, but this is a big black dress. We're gonna cut it off at the bottom because it's a little too long for her. So can you guess what it is? So this is it. Somehow We're gonna bend the, the glasses. These are just from the dollar store and we'll kind of tape them onto the balloon. It's a balloon underneath there and then some yarn. So this is it and Ashley's going to be Wednesday. So that's kind of fun. She, it was all her idea. They're very excited for Adam's Family 2 to come out so they can watch that. But this is all her idea. And then you'll have to just wait until Chelsea gets stressed because I don't, she's a clown, but I, I don't really know what kind. Yeah, I don't think Chelsea really even knows what kind of clown she is. It's like not an evil clown, but it's not like a silly clown. I think it's just a, a hip clown. I don't know. I just kind of went with pictures that she showed me on Pinterest and then she kind of allowed me to like kind of find what I could from like the dollar store or from our costume bucket or from the Goodwill. So we have, I said we had a trunk or treat tomorrow for school, but it's not. It's our church party, Halloween party tomorrow night. And tonight is Monday night football. So <laughs> I want to watch football tonight. So I need to make sure the costumes are ready to go. I'm going to have them try them on when they get home tonight. Because tomorrow now I have to take Ashley to get her appointment and then rush back for the Halloween party. So tomorrow I won't have time to do this after school. So, all right, just to keep it real, I just finished up the last two or three loads of laundry. This is even half of what's already gone up over the weekend. But I got to convince Ashley to put all of her laundry bucket away. And then this one is Chelsea's down there. And then hanging, hanging. This is ours, to be fair. I need to take that up. But I'm going to go set myself over there. Jason needs to get on a conference call in the other room and I'm going to do edit two videos that I think I'm going to use on my laptop. I don't like to edit on my laptop when I'm at home. I'm going to sit down here and edit while he does a conference call back in a bit. Again, keeping it real. Have makeup on. Already a sweaty mess from doing chores and whatnot. And I've only seen the teenagers once this morning, uh, but that's okay. They need to rest. What should I watch today? Because yes, I can edit while I watch something. And then I'll turn it off when I really need to dive into the video. All right, so I was checking my email while I was waiting for some of my footage to download. I got some stuff started. Then I realized that it's um, super cash time at Old Navy and I have like $30 in super cash. You make fun, but this is how I save money. Okay. You make fun. I also, it, it might ruin it if I return this dress. I might like lose my super cash or whatever. But I still need to return this because I, it's too big. So regardless, I'll have that return and that that money I can buy something else with. But we can look for but clothes you for you. Super cash, then there's no point going. Right? No, but I do want to go to. <laughs> no, stop. I do want to go to Walmart as well because I'm finding that I like I'm already hot wearing this sweatshirt and a t-shirt. But if I they have like long sleeve like just you know it's just a t-shirt but it's like more like a crew neck and looks more like a long sleeve sweatshirt but it's just t-shirt material and it wouldn't make me as hot but then I can pull the sleeves up so I think I like t-shirts because I do get hot inside but I also get cold inside too so I think I might that might be my middle ground is to go to some long sleeve shirts I never wear long sleeve shirts unless it's a sweatshirt I just don't. So I'm gonna go and try some of those. Our Walmart sucks on like stock. They just, it never has ever been good. So you add COVID to it and it's just never, it, I don't know. So my chances are really low at actually finding something, but we'll go try.
and he's so excited. Yeah, I am. you're coming along for I the ride. I wanted to get out and do something. Yeah. The only thing I have to do is get oil changed in my car. Otherwise, I can watch some movies. But I know I already went through my Bad Batch series, and I don't have any. Your yet. Bad Batch? If you don't know, you shouldn't ask. Apparently, I. <laughs> I no. Oh, I forgot a hat. Oh, I look like crap. Oh no. Oh no. You look like crap for Walmart. Well, Walmart is fine. Old Navy is a different story. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so I did get some stuff at Old Navy. I'll show you that in the car. But we're going to Jason's least favorite store. He's taking one for the team. I'm gonna look for some long sleeve shirts. But I won't go anywhere else. We're not even picking out a cart. That's what we're looking for? Yeah. All right, let me show you what I got at Walmart. Jason gets very antsy in Walmart, so I could only look for a second. <laughs> I didn't really want the hood on this one, but the fabric feels softer. It definitely feels just like a, a like a knit, jersey knit, with a little bit of spandex in it. And it's really thin, and that's what I, I need. Plus it has like one of those like thumb holes. So it comes a little bit longer on my hand, which is what I, if I'm cold and needing long sleeves, then obviously I'm, you know, needing to have some coverage but I, I get really hot if I'm like anyway in two layers with a sweatshirt and a t-shirt whatever so it's really cute and I like the color I'm able to like go down to a 2x and everything which is really really great so then over at Old Navy I got this t-shirt they're ten dollars again I got to drop down to size 2x and then I also got this t-shirt in like the gray camo I've actually wanted a gray camo for a while I thought that was kind of cute. So I, I returned that, if you guys watched my try on haul from Old Navy, probably like a month ago, maybe even a little bit longer than that. I had bought a blue striped dress and it's too big. So I returned that and I did not lose my super cash, if you know how Old Navy works with super cash. And so I, I kept my super cash so then I was able to turn around and buy all of this stuff and get my discount for buying all of this. And Jason snuck off and found, these are only $10, so it was kind of, when I, I was initially looking, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get to $75. And then Jason has expensive taste, and he found a pair of casual pants to wear around the house or running errands on his days off, and they have like a cool little pocket on the side. They're, they're kind of like a tougher sweatpant. I don't know how else to describe them, but they have like, you know, the cuff at the bottom and the elastic waist at the top but they're kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. They're just tougher. It's just a better quality of a pant. So he got these, but they were 50 bucks. I was like, okay, we're gonna get the $75, no problem. So then I didn't wanna like go way over the $75 mark with these three items. And so I found some things on clearance that are a killer deal. So I found these dresses and I tried on the, um, like a, it was like a tie-dye, pink and peach tie-dye, one of these dresses back when I was doing that try-on haul. And this one is yellow and white striped. You can't really even tell that there's a white stripe in there. It's kind of all bleeding together on the camera. But it's that one that had like the elastic waist and just goes right below my knees. And I actually wished I had had that one on our trip to Maui because it was just so much easier to just put on a dress and go. So I got this one for $3.49. That was a killer deal. And then this one was $4.49. So I got both dresses for $8. And again, it has the elastic waist. So I'm just gonna stick these aside. We'll save these for our next trip and then um, for next summer. And Jason is now ordering Abby Red Robin. She wants some Red Robin and then Kaylee wants Panda. Since they're home from school, we're kind of just like, you know, it's a little bit extra and they're hanging out with each other and Kaylee's boyfriend is at home. He has a scratchy throat, so she's making him rest. I think football has kind of did him in. Done him in? Done him in. Have done him in or did him in? Yeah. That works. I don't remember. So he is resting today. He has one more football game and then his season is over. Um, and so we're just letting him rest today. So we're gonna go and pick up some takeout for them. I'm gonna try and be good and not get anything for myself because I cheated and had something this morning. So I'm gonna drink my water. Oh, she wants a side and then, of fries. Oh, she wants a side of fries. 
Yeah. Sounds really good from Red Robin. But it's only good at Red Robin when you're there. But that's okay. Hi, uh, it's Jason uh, to pick up a curbside order. Okay, what spot are you parked in? Number four. Fantastic, we'll have it out to you shortly. Thank you. All right, Abby ordered some pizza, some fries, and a drink. You got the drink? Yep. Um, I'm, we're not gonna tell her, but but he knew there was something weird. He was trying to add the pizza to the cart and it kept kind of kicking him out. And anyway, and she's like, okay, did you, you know, the lady dropped it off. She's like, okay, here's your cauliflower pizza, pepperoni pizza, and your, you know, fries and your drink. And he's like, I didn't order a cauliflower pizza. And she's like, oh, that's because it automatically added it to the cart when you tried to do a regular pizza crust because we just don't have any of that one. And it's like, if that's, then just say you don't have it. So don't like substitute it for something completely different. Like, <laughs> my goodness sakes, if people don't want cauliflower crust, you at least need to tell them that that's what they're ordering. It literally didn't say that when we were ordering it at all. Anyway, so we're not gonna tell her that that's what it is. She actually will probably be more grateful that it is a more healthy option by the time she's done eating it, but hopefully she likes it. If not, we're gonna have to go back out and get her something else to eat. Uh, wish us luck. Okay, Ashley's home and we are getting her costume prepped. So I've got the collar right there, right? Yeah. We need to cut off the hoodie, and we need to cut off length right here. Yeah, the length. Right? That's right. And then we need to glue um, its hair on, yes. right? So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then I'm watching a great baker, great British baking show, but the Seahawks are playing in like an hour. So I'm I'm not going to be occupied with anything but the game, right? Mm -hmm. So let's take this off. Ash, so that I can cut it, okay? Also, she's very excited that she gets to go to the doctor tomorrow. <laughs> See, she has it. She's been wrapping it up every single day. So, I'm, I'm kind of betting you're gonna go trick-or-treating with the cast. <laughs> Again. Should we make it orange? <laughs> or black? Let's do black. What if they don't have black? Maybe, maybe. Or purple. You want purple? Because it's closest to black. <laughs> 